Mr. Tony Toscano yeah. from Talking Pictures here on Midday Now. Big movie weekend. Wait, there's, there's music wafting through the studio here. Everything is going great. This is great Friday. That's coming up a little bit later. Country music star. You have to hear her voice. That's I'm gonna the second I'm gonna part hang. of the show. I'm going to hang for it. Good. Hey, movies. Let's talk about it. Let's talk, first of all, uh, Bradley Cooper, Emma Stone, and uh, Rachel McAdams get together and do a movie called Aloha. I was so excited to come yeah. in today and find out what you thought of this movie. Well, this is a new romantic comedy. It's about a, a military contractor who returns to Hawaii. Uh, you know, his greatest triumph in his life was in Hawaii, uh, working on the space program in Honolulu. He reconnects when he gets there with an old, long-lost love, Rachel McAdams, uh, but unexpectedly falls in love with uh, his assistant assigned to him by the Air Force. Emma Stone? Emma Stone. Uh -huh. So, therefore, uh, comedy ensues, and, you know, it's like I said, it's a little spitty, uh, romantic comedy. The movie is under fire right now for, uh, you know, not, not having a lot of character diversity and a little disrespect for the Hawaiian culture is what they're saying. Mm. I'm saying that Sony is publishing all that because I think they just want people to be interested in the film enough to buy some tickets. Buzz. They yeah. need buzz. Yeah, because that's all that's working for this movie. Oh, no. It's a predictable film. It's, it, even though with a stellar cast, you know, it ends up flat, pedestrian, I gave it a C minus. Ouch. Yeah. Does Bradley Cooper know you gave it that grade? Yeah, I called him. It's uh, rated PG 13. Mm. Okay. All right. Okay. San Andreas. This San is Andreas. The, movie the Rock has been talking about doing all those red carpets. <laughs> I know. He's, he's been on this. Uh, and and uh, part of the proceeds for the uh, San Andreas are going to earthquake relief funds. So it's got a good uh, spirit to it. And this is a story of a chopper pilot search for his missing daughter in the aftermath of the biggest earthquake that hit California since Earthquake the movie back in the 70s. Um, you know, the plots on these disaster films. They wear a little thin. They okay. wear, they're as about as thin as Dr. Phil's jogging suit. <laughs> that is pretty Yeah, thin. that is thin. Uh, the, but they're roller coaster rides. That's what you go to these movies for, is to have some fun, to sit on the edge of your seat and eat some popcorn. And does that happen? And this is what this movie is. It delivers? Is. We're getting a lot of critics saying, hey, it may not be, you know. But you know what? That's what the fun is. You just leave, the, you leave your logic at the door and buy a big tub of popcorn and just have some fun. And this delivers. It gets a B. And it is rated PG-13. So that's your pick of the weekend. If I there's think a movie so, yeah. to see, that's the one to go see. Yeah, and like I said, you know, it, it, getting mad at a disaster film is like getting mad at a cartoon when the coyote gets the amble on his head and going, well, you didn't die. You know what's going to happen. You know, you know it's just <laughs> you for know fun. You know the formula. Yeah. Will you please like Tony on Facebook? Please. I've, li I've liked him so many times, I don't know if I'm allowed to keep liking. You, you have to like me. I, I give you a dollar for everyone. Facebook.com slash TV's Talking Pictures. Good to see you, Mr. Toscano. Thank you. Do you want to throw it back to Glenn? Hey, Glenn. Hey, a dollar for everyone. Uh, I think I've liked it about a million times. Thank you. Pay up, Tony.